Kenta and Hirota were miserable. There had been an upsurge in traffic recently, and some of the tender engines were becoming lonely when all of the other tank engines went off to run the branch lines of Gensokyo. There was more work to do, and they had to fetch their own coaches. The big engines thought they were too important to fetch coaches. Akemi grumbled too. We get no rest! We get no rest! They all said. But the nearby yokai laughed. You're lazy and slack! They answered. Altogether, the engines were causing Romilia Scarlet a great deal of trouble. The shed in Kappa Valley has a turntable. Nidori made them so engines can be turned around because it's dangerous for big engines to go fast backwards. Little tank engines like Ichihiro don't need turntables. They can go just as well backwards and forwards. But to hear Hirado talk, he thought that Nidori and Romilia gave him a tender just to show how important he was. You don't understand, little Ichihiro. We tender engines have a position to keep up. It doesn't matter where you go, but we are important. From Romilia to make us go shunt and fetch coaches and go some of those dirty sightings? It's... it's... well, it's an Im improper thing. Ichihiro laughed and left her and left with Annie and Carrera Brew. Disgraceful! Hiroto hissed as he ran backwards onto the turntable. Aya Shimamaru was nearby and was having a slow news day. She decided to play a trick on the engines. Aya made the sheds a windy place, and if he didn't stop in the right place, he put the turntable out of balance and made it difficult to turn. Today, Hirota was in a bad temper and the wind was blowing fiercely. His driver tried to make him stop in the right place, but Hirota wasn't trying. The firewoman tried to turn the handle, but Hirota's weight and the strong winds prevented him. It's no good, they said at last. Your big tender upsets the balance. If you're a little tank engine, it might be alright. Now you have to take your next train backwards. There are some fairies on the platform. Look! It's a new tank engine! One of them said. Uh, it's only Hirato back to front. Hello, called Ichihiro. Playing tank engine, I see? Sensible engine. Take my advice, scrap your tender, and have a nice bunker. Even Akemi laughed when he saw him. Take care, it's his Toronto. You might stick too. No fear, chuckled Akemi. I'm not so fat as you. I mustn't stick, thought Akemi. He stopped just in the right place to balance the table that can now swing easily. Aya began to make the wind blow hard once more, and Hiroto arrived to see everything in time. Akemi mu turned much too easily, and the wind made him spin like a top. He couldn't stop. Well, 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 laughed Hiroto. Are you playing roundabouts? Poor Akemi rolled off quite giddy into the sheds without saying a word. The next day, Aya's trick were in the Bun Bun Maru newspaper. The article talked of spinning turntables and backwards engines. Rado and Akemi were most annoyed. That night, the three engines held an indignation meeting. It's shameful to treat tender engines like this. Rado has to go backwards, and people think he's a tank engine? Akemi spins like a top, and everybody laughed at us. On top of that, Romilia Scarlet has a shunt and dirty sightings. Ah! The engines were upset at Romilia for having to shunt their own trains, but Aya made them matter by embarrassing them in the daily paper. Listen, said Hiroto. He whispered something to the other engines. We'll do it tomorrow. Aya-chan will look silly. The engines decided to cause an incident.